Hi everyone. I'm Ain. How are you today? I hope that you will have a good day. In every video, I will bring the best things in life for you. At that time, I was confused about entering life. Lack of skills, lack of life experience, and lack of instructors. Life has taught me a lot of valuable lessons, and of course, with a tuition fee that is not cheap. The time, money, effort, and enthusiasm of youth. If I could go back to my twenties, I would be better than I was that day. If I could go back to my twenties, I would definitely learn to position myself. And love myself before I fell in love with others. Position yourself, determine the destination. Almost thirty years old, I still wonder with the question, "Who am I? What do I need, and how should I live?" Sometimes I feel frustrated, helpless, and tears because I don't know the future. The young, naive, addictive to certainty in me kept wondering: How do I know what I do? The decisions I make are right. When I really came into life, looking back, I still didn't know enough to shape the life I wanted. I looked at other people's lives and generates. Jealousy. I became tired and depressed. It wasn't until I knew how to understand myself and define my path and destination that I really took control of my life. From a young age, be equipped with knowledge and skills. Learn to understand yourself and build yourself a life plan. Don't waste time. Start living the life you want to have. Don't wait until you get it before you leave. Many people out there, each with their own goals and directions, looking at their life. You will be shaken and distracted. Jealousy destroy you. Focus on your own life. Make sure that everything you do is geared towards the life. You want to have. Instead of putting yourself in a race with others, try to find strength in yourself and strive to be better, new version every day. Love yourself before you love others. It sounds a bit selfish, but it isn't. Thinking about how when you are still struggling. How can you be a fulcrum for others when you're not happy? Can you bring joy to everyone around you when you are struggling financially? Is it comfortable to bring money to help the needy more than you? If you don't appreciate yourself, how can others? Many studies have proven that. When you are happy around you, there will be a field of positive energy that spreads to those around you. You have to create stability in your own soul first before thinking about sharing love with others. When you know how to love yourself, you will know how to avoid hurting others. Then. You will definitely not waste time with someone who is not for you. Don't blind yourself to a relationship with someone who does not know how to value your values. Much less for others to abandon or destroy yourself. Live like a tree before giving life shade, fragrant flowers, and sweet fruits. Which itself must grow well and be flourish. Body, soul, intellect, and appearance are the four aspects 
that focus on caring for and nurturing. That day, I rely on my youth, so I didn't care much about my inner health. I often work until late at night, wake up late, rarely do exercise. It wasn't until my health spoke <laughs> that I woke myself up. I began to listen to my body, cherish each part, pay attention to regular visits, and eat healthy, exercise every day. If you don't have a lot of time and conditions, working is a simple way for you to exercise. Working is also a way to have beautiful legs and improve your stature. And one more thing, don't forget to take care of. Your skin from the time you're young. Besides the inner health, the appearance of the outside is no less im- important. It was only a few years I would work before I realized this. You will ruin a beautiful clothes if you appear with a hunch back of the appearance, lack of confidence. Understanding yourself will help you create your own style. Which is also a way to make a mark for you to be remembered by everyone. Go straight back, speak clearly. You will be respected in the eyes of others. I remember the time I at my my classmate. She always had a strange gait, well dressed clothes, soft speech, polite manners, extremely graceful. Trusters, I just look and admire without thinking that I can fully practice to get a style like her. An elegant is the lifestyle that needs to be had in every girl that I will not know until later. Elegant is expressed not only through appearance, but also through conversational behavior, and also in emotions. Start with the smallest things, like controlling your voice in public, speaking calmly, listening, and don't interrupt others while you're speaking. Always say hello and goodbye, apologize and thank you. Always keep the living place clean and lovely. You will become elegant without any effort. Try to improve yourself every day. Always be grateful for what you have and cherish the present moment. That's what an elegant girl needs. At the age of twenty, you need a young soul. My mistake that day was to let my soul harden over time. The storm of my life has eroded it, making me extremely negative. The pink life in my eyes gradually faded. I became gray. Sometimes I lose faith in life, in people, in society, and in myself. But fortunately, the opportunity pushed me to assess many possessive habits that help heal the soul, such as reading, meditating, and writing. I started arranging relaxation time each day, so that my body could recover and let myself have the opportunity to go back inside to listen to myself. Recharge after a tiring day, when a soul is nourished by positive energy, you have enough resistance ready to withstand challenges and difficulties in the path of life. That are not flat. Now, I'm full of life inspiration. I want to create positive energy and spread it to everyone around me. In addition, practicing self-learning skills is also an extremely important thing. This is my biggest regret: isn't starting it early. In a world that is constantly moving. You will sink to the bottom if you stay still. To the extent possible, is to depend on your will of life. That day, I naively thought that the world was wrapped up in textbook, the teachings of teachers, 
and parents, but it isn't. Books, the internet, and everything from the life around me have opened me up to new perspective. I learned to understand myself. I knew the minimalist lifestyle and understood what it was like to be elegant. I thought right about money when I approached it. About personal finances, and there were many other useful things. Knowledge helps me affirm my worth, change my world view, human outlook, help my life more happier. Therefore, in my opinion, modern youth shouldn't be afraid to read and learn. Self-study is the key to opening many gates. That take you to the bright future. What if I could go back to twenties? Hmm, that's just hypothesis. Anyway, I can't deny that the progress of experimentation, exploration, diving between right and wrong, between value and success, between dreams and reality, it made me take stronger steps. In the later years, the post is like a heartfelt message, so that my mistakes and regrets do not repeat in you. I hope you can also bravely experience and live your youth years in the most meaningful way. Don't waste your time. Don't be afraid of the storage. The harder you get to learn things, the more important you are to locate yourself. And remember to love yourself before you fall in love with others. I wish you have a best twenty-year-old version of your life. Thank you so much for listening to me.